Cheers. Today we're going to talk about Louis Ferdinand Saline's Journey to the End of the Night. This book has had a tremendous impact on me. I was actually really late to discover it. I'd only heard about it a few weeks ago and when I had heard it described it sounded really up my alley so I went and, and, and bought it and I read it over the course of a couple of days and I, I had a hard time putting it down. So let's get into it in this inaugural episode of Drunk and Lit Reviews. That name may change. I don't know. Anyway, my name doesn't matter. Let's just talk about the book. Journey to the End of the Night is kind of an autobiography. I've read a little bit about his life and there are definitely parallels. So the book starts the protagonist, Ferdinand Bardmanu, joining the French army after being in a sort of ideological dispute uh, that's very short and has one of the most, if not the most famous line from this book. His friend is trying to uh, persuade him to be, to have a more positive outlook about France and its people. And Barmanu is just, you know, the, the ever the cynic is, uh, he says the, the French ended up here because they just couldn't get past the ocean. They're a society of, of spineless cowards. And uh, this is as far as they ended up, and then they gave up, and his friend is like, but we have, we have love, Bardmanu, we have love. And uh, Bardmanu famously says, uh, love is the infinite, placed within the reach of poodles. I have my dignity. And then he goes and, and runs off and joins the French army before the horrors of World War I are known. The next chapter begins with him knowing and confronting those horrors. And his experience in the war just goes to further his kind of, his resolution um, when it comes to, to being this, this negative, uh, cynical person. It almost is like this anti-Henry Miller book. It's almost like with Miller, he goes and he finds the, the beauty in every moment. He finds the beauty in in food and travel and new places and, and, and people. And Celine lived just as interesting and varied uh, and, and kind of almost like a beat poet in a way, that sort of vagabond lifestyle where he saw the world, saw people, did many, many, many interesting things, but comes away with it with the exact opposite of Miller, where instead of seeing beauty, he sees the decay and the hypocrisy and the, the horrible nature of man. It's almost like a condemnation of himself, where wherever he goes, he takes this baggage with him. Not many people, at least in America, I feel like not many people have read this. The chatter is uh, pretty, pretty slim about this book. And I think that that is due in large part to Celine's problematic, troublesome, and not so great, not so great views. And I feel like that's kind of what holds this book back from getting what I, I think the attention that it deserves. Uh, Louis Ferdinand Celine was an unabashed anti-Semite and supporter of the Nazis. He was convicted of something, I can't remember, after the war. He, being, I think, such a talented writer, was, uh, was pardoned for his crimes. Till the end, he maintained his horrific views, very unashamed of them. Though I try to be fair and judge things by the standards of their times, Saline's views were extreme and, and pretty abhorrent even for the times. In one of his polemics, I think a quote was, the lives of 10 million Jews are worth less than the toenail clippings of an Aryan. Yeah. His hatred and, and animus to humanity is never directed in, in only one direction. And that's why it was so surprising for me to learn just the extent of his views was because in this, he is indiscriminate in his, his hatred and bitterness for people. And he is so disappointed with the senselessness of it all. I don't know, maybe it's because he was a disaffected uh, youth. Maybe it was just a he was a prime target to get radicalized. It's easy to just brush him aside and say that he's a, a nihilist, he's just a cynic, he's an edgelord, whatever. I don't really agree with that. From this book, he laments that you can't tell 
a good man from a bad man. And, and his views are definitely rooted in, in morals. I think of anything this has a big heart. It is a very sensitive uh, work of fiction. This is the novel of a man desperately trying to make sense of it all and continually coming up short, whether due to his own shortcomings or due to the fact that the world really is as dark a place as he has come to believe. I can't help suspecting that the only true manifestations of our innermost being are war and insanity, those two absolute nightmares. Maybe what makes life so terribly fatiguing is nothing other than the enormous effort we make for 20 years, 40 years, and more to be reasonable, to avoid being simply profoundly ourselves. That is vile, ghastly, absurd. It's the nightmare of having to represent the halt subhuman we were fobbed off with as a small-sized universal ideal, a Superman from morning to night. This is how many passages stuck out to me in this book, uh, which is quite a lot. I feel like you, you don't go more than, you don't go more than a couple pages without reading something and stopping and saying, man, that is, that is profound. So that's Louis Ferdinand Céline's journey to the end of the night. I hope that this video was more than just the ramblings of, uh, of a drunk. I, not sure. Uh, I've never had to do a video like this before, and so uh, I feel like a lot of it was me just rambling. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, maybe a comment, tell me what I could do better. Uh, I appreciate it. This channel is partly a way for me to uh, discuss with other people books that stood out to me. So if you've read this and liked it or read it and hated it, drop a comment. But it's also a way to keep me accountable and to keep me reading. I stopped reading about maybe five, six years ago, and in this past month have really tried to get back into it. I've been I've been reading a lot and I've read some amazing works, been revisiting some stuff I read when I was when I was younger. Uh, and so yeah, let me know, let me know how I can improve. So with that said, remember to uh, drink carefully and read carefully. Books are amazing, but they can also be dangerous.